And welcome back to Career Build Series, episode 149. And so I did some work off screen on Triton. Um, and so let's go through the firefighting systems. I did, again, I don't want to do too much building in, uh, you know, two videos back to back. This was mostly just connecting things up. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm at the testing phase. Let's go ahead and get tested here. So I'm going to go down into the engine room. Um, and... I have added fire sprinklers. So we have sprinklers all down the roof here. So there's three over each of the diesels, as you can see. And there's one over the um, harbor generator. And so this is going to allow me to, if either the harbor generator or the diesel on this side um, goes over 120 degrees, which is when a fire starts, the fire suppression system will automatically start and put the fire out. Um, same on the starboard side. And so we're going to start there. Let's go ahead and go in here. I've already added it to a breaker, so firefighting systems are all plumbed up. I want to check it all. So main power is coming on. We're just going to start up the ship like we're starting up. I'm going to select a battery bank. We're going to pick the port battery bank. And I increase the batteries so you hear the generators don't start up because we have enough energy. Um, we don't need them to start up right off the bat. All right, so let's go ahead. and We're going to start the test by faking a fire. So I have four keypads. This one is for that um, harbor gen, this one's for that harbor gen, and then the two front ones are for the engines. So I'm going to start by faking a fire 125 degrees on the harbor gen. And as you can see, our sprinkler system will um, flood the, the um, engine and it will also hit the harbor generator. Okay, good. If I shut that uh, or turn that down below, it should shut off. It does. Um, let's test the um, temperature probe for this one. Good, that one works. And we'll test on this side. So again, we get a temp over 120, 120. That will go. And then same thing on this other keypad. And we got it, so that is working. Okay, so, so that system works. Um, all right, nice. So our sprinkler system works, um, which is good. That will be a good fire prevention system. And then here are here are the pump motors there. Let's go ahead and go up. I want to test um, the on-deck firefighting system. Uh, one more level. Go up here. All right, so we'll go ahead and test this. I really like these bump outs. That adds some interest to here. All right, and we'll go ahead and get in here. And so we'll grab it, turn it on. I haven't hooked up the um, haven't hooked up the alarm yet. As you can see, a lot of pressure. Uh, the up the um, fire guns or cannons are not spraying, which they should not be. I can fight fires pretty much anywhere on deck. Um, I can also you know use the cannon and spray with this one, so that's good. That side works. The only thing I need to test that I'll put in is the um, alarm. Okay, there's a harbor generator turned on. We've used up enough electricity screwing around that it has come on. Test the same stuff on this side. Um, fire alarm will go off when that goes off. That's pretty simple to test. Pressure, fire hose. Okay, good. Now we'll shut this back off. Next test is going to be the um, fire cannons. And if the fire cannons work, uh, pretty much all our fire suppression systems are working. And so that's good. That's um, some good progress there. All right, camera two. Uh, I don't know why camera one's not working. Uh, weird. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and turn this on. Let's spool it up. I might have erased an uh, electric connection on the camera or something. All right, so that one's working. Let's test the other one. So camera. Um, yes, for some reason that camera got disconnected, I think, from electricity. Let's go N to start this one. It's, it's just N because that's night vision. Um, you know, and instead of changing it, um, we'll, we'll say end for no more fire. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. All right, so these work well. Um, yep, okay, so good. We have good convergence. I can have these overlap um, and double up the um, water on one area. So that's, that's great. Um, and our... We'll return it and then and shuts it off and R returns it. So there we go. Um, so that's up and running. That was good to get in. Um, another system in, in there. I didn't want to get a fire and then not be able to use um, 
Triton to put it out. So let's go ahead on the, um, let me bring up the to-do list here. So here's my Google Drive to-do list. Um, I don't know why on OBS it doesn't go full screen. It shows the top of the game. As you can see there, it's a little annoying. Um, probably if I, I don't know, something to do with the, the display, I think. So let's look. Um, it's always good to check things off. Kitchenette, uh, that needs to be done. Engineering ballast, fuel. Diesel shore, def, def, fire sprinklers are done. Uh, firefighting lockers are done. Could always add more, but I'm not ready to do that. So, only two things checked off, which seems like, oh no, that's not much, but um, they were important things and they got done, so that's good. Um, I think, I don't know how much building I want to do this video. Uh, last video was a lot of building. A lot of stuff like def can be done later. Ballast is ballast. I just need the bridge up on there. Let's bring this up, our ballast equipment. Um, that is done. It just needs to be ported up, essentially. Let me get rid of this. There we go. Okay. So you hear the harbor generator came on because we were running all those electric pumps for everything. Um, where are we at here? Right here. Okay, so right in here, this is my ballast system. So it's already kind of set up already. Um, so let's look at it. We have um, port bow ballast, uh, port bow water line, uh, port stern ballast, port stern water line, and then the same on this side. And then we have a gauge um, that will tell you um, you can enter in where you want the water line. So if you want the water line one meter above the water, you do one for one meter above. Um, I'm not sure if it's if it's how many meters above the water line or below the water line you want, but essentially you're setting where you want your water line. So this can be cut and this can go up. Um, I was waiting to put in a panel and remember when I did the um, the mass controls, I now have space to put that on there. So let's go ahead and and now we have a space to put this on here, so let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, come on, man. And I, I want to change something on my seat again. I don't want to make this a whole build video, but um, I want to get some of the stuff done that I need done. All right, let's merge that up. All right. All right, now I have to do underneath, which is always a pain to color. All right, and then um, these are all blue, blue for water, blue for ballast. So then the fuel is on here. So this is going to be a main station where you can come over here and control a bunch of stuff. Um, one thing I don't like about the way I have this set up, and I just did it for temporary reasons, is if you notice when I occupy the seat, a bunch of stuff comes on. I don't want that on. I want a systems button. You click the systems, all that stuff comes on. So let me see um, where I have space. I want Look at composites. Um, trying to think how to set this up. I think, yeah, I want it at the station, so I have to activate it at this particular station. Um, so let's see, that's any hold that is. Let me actually do something really quick to fire before I forget. Um, something I want to do with fire that I will forget if I don't do it now. Okay. So this is going to be my fire alarm. I have a fire alarm on here so that... Volume, pitch. Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> Take what vote? Nope. Um, 
One in three, I think. That's the one. All right, so warning three at max pitch. Warning three, max pitch. Okay, these two need um, electricity. So this is gonna go to here because it's part of the fire system. And then where did the hell did the other one go? Right there. Okay, and then I need to find, um, I think, where was it? Um, was it part of this panel here? I don't believe it was. All right, so I need to find my fire panel. I just want to finish that system. That was something that needed to be finished. Um, is it this? Fire alarm, there it is right here. So mostly RP, of course. Um, it was just something I forgot, and then I figured I'd go back to it. So any of these uh, fire panel, with these fire lockers here, I can set it off. So it just goes off if I turn it on. That's all it is. Um, kind of a cool little RP thing. And I can shut it off. So that's all it is, is I can set off an alarm. Um, I could hook it up to the, actually, I think I'll do that too. Uh, let me fix the, I need to fix some of my fire stuff um, because remember I tested here. I just need to connect all these back up. So this is um, high temp gen star. That is uh, port um, gen right there. This is, um, Port Diesel, that is right there, and then the last one is going to be um, Starboard Diesel, which is right here. All right, so those are finished. I didn't want to move away from something that I was trying to finish. All right, good, so that's done. What is this? This has been blocking me. Um, rudder Control, I no longer need that there. Let me see what this is all about. It doesn't really matter what it is. I'm not going back to it because um, I already have it integrated so a lot of duplicate stuff what is this crap here um, I don't I want to know what this is going to here uh, gen clutch what is this engineering panel p-value what does that what the heck is that going to um, Okay, that was me. That was me setting the um, the clutch for the generators, so I don't need that anymore. So that can be deleted. I keep having to walk over this. I'm trying to get rid of as many panels. I want this to, you know, since it's in the career build series now, I don't want too many panels that do nothing just hanging around on the deck. Uh, these are all. What is this going to now? That is engine controller D. Whatever that is. That is D value. Okay, so this was tuning for the engine. Um, yeah, so that can go, all go. All right, what is this logic? This is what? That's a linear speed that goes to um, speed sensor. Um, we can hide this, cut this, and go down into the deck with it. How do I disappear that far away from where I need to be? That's what I want to know. Okay, and so this can go down. That can go right there. Uh, you know what we'll do? We'll put it in the wall here. Right there. That's not um, anything that I need. And that way um, it's not interfering with anything. All right, so that is now merged. All right, good. This function block's probably nothing. This was way old. Um, that was when I was controlling this just from underneath. What is all this crap? Uh, this is, okay, this is my control trims. Okay, so I need this. So 
just, you know, it's always nice to kind of clean things up and get them the heck out of the way, especially when you start using your build is, um, kind of want your build to look like it's, um, usable. And, um, there's a little bit of a mess right now. I think this is just a physics flutter right here, um, to give me a tiny bit more performance. All right, that's good. What are you doing here? What's that? Okay, this is uh, for my, um, that's for the counterweight. Counterweight, it says counterweight on it too. Um, and then this can just go in the wall, into the floor there. All right, so that's there. What are these? Nada. Um, those are reading our ballast tanks. Um, I don't need those there. Okay. That was just for when I was putting the ballast system together. What is this? This is turret Y, turret X. Okay. Is this the old crane? Okay, that was the old crane controls. Um, of course, I'm not using this anymore, so that can go. Clean it up. This is ballast systems here. I need this. Um, okay, that's ballast system. So this automatically balances with the ballast system, so this is important. Um, this can go in the bow here, right there. There we go there. All right, just a little bit of cleanup there. Let's get back to what I was doing. So I, I did the fire um, systems. What is this? This is radars. Okay, this can get off here. I'm trying to kind of get to the point where I don't have a bunch of... Um, I remember what I was trying to do. I wanted to... Um, I wanted to get the systems um, for the uh, main console there. And then I um, got distracted because I have horn controls to do. Um, what is this? Thrusters. These are my bow thrusters here, or my thruster system. So that's good. That needs to stay. It's nice having a bunch of it right under underneath here because it's a pain having all these wires going all the way up from the basement all the way up to the bridge. So it's nice having them right underneath the bridge like this. That's helpful. All right, you see there's a lot of micros in there. And then this here is um, sonar. So sonar can be integrated into the panel here. I have some extra spaces. Right there. Uh, did I do something I didn't want to do? Let me check it. Okay, let me check, make sure this isn't going anywhere. Okay, this isn't doing anything. I was afraid that I had this connected. I don't, so that's good. Okay, that was going to just be a pain that I, if I, um, if I daisy chain something through there, then I was going to have to fix it. And I can't stand them when they're white, so I'm just going to color them something for now. Um, and then all right. Um, all right, so I, I kind of did that to get to where I can set up um, for having kind of a system startup panel on here. All right, so I'm thinking maybe electricity here. So um, helm systems. So we want this to be a flip switch. All right. All right, so that's good. Um, two. Do I have an electrical panel here?
do batteries and deltas there. Um, I just want very basic stuff here. Um, let me look at what I have here. That should be temps, RPMs. Okay, I'm trying to think what to put here. The helm just needs basic information. Then this main panel here is going to have all the detailed information. So I need uh, like a battery readout. I need to have um, I need a battery readout. I need to have the delta. Um, I don't need to finish that right now, but essentially, let's go. Um, Helm systems, all right. Let's do composite input panel. Composite output panel. I think I'm going to move sonar and then I can, yeah, I'm going to move, I'm going to move sonar. So that's fine. Let's go like that for now. All right. So I need um, uh, output uh, helm systems. Okay. Okay, so let's start like that. So I want to read one, and that's going to be Helm Systems. All right, so let's do that for now. And then I'm going to go. So um, sonar is going to get cut and moved over here. Yeah, I kind of have the other armrest facing. So I kind of want that facing as well. All right, um, and then oh, let's see. I just need a panel here is all I really need here. Let's go. This is going to move out. And then I just need a panel here. All right, so that's good. And then this is going to go daisy chained in. So this will go there, this will go here, and this will go back. And then uh, Helm Systems is going to be where. See all the seat controls are hitting everything here. That's backlights, um, monitor switches. So this is going to be me manually doing it now instead of it. And um, power switch in the monitor. I think um, that actually. Okay, what was that going to? That was going to something up here. Um, sonar. So I can turn the sonar on manually. So I'm going to keep that monitor powered through there. And then some of these monitors come on automatically when you sit down. And what was this? That is, okay, so I just had radar when I sit down. I don't really want that. Um, I want radar when I start it up. Okay, and then what's the last one? The last one's here. Let's see what that goes to. That goes to um, radar active. We'll go there. All right, so that takes out all that that I didn't want. So that's good. Let's go ahead and grab this and put this under deck to under the floor here. And that will be, um, this will be for those panels that I just put in there for anything else I need on there. All right.
Again, it's wonderful with a ship. You just have so much space for everything. All right, let's test that out. All right, so now instead of me sitting down, I can theoretically turn all that on. Okay, it's not doing it. Oh, I have to turn the ship on. Have to turn the ship on. It's nice to have a bunch of the microcontrollers put away. Yeah, we'll do starboard bank. There we go. And so a lot of what's going on the engineering panel, um, gauge-wise, will be on that big panel in the uh, on the bridge. So reading out engines and um, all the engine data, ballast data, fuel data, electrical data. You know, the the main helm doesn't need all that. The main helm just needs like quick look at. Yep, I I I have enough electricity. You know, it doesn't need to have all that. Why? <laughs> this is see. This is a uh, when you when things get annoying is like before you just have it so that it's easily everything turns on and then now it's when it's super annoying. Um, I know why. Okay, no wonder. I think I know why. Let's just paint this here. And then the electricity needs to be connected to the panel. So that goes there. This goes here. I broke a connection to the panels. And then this needs to go through to there. So none of this was powered because this powers everything. And I broke a connection. So, all right. Let me save. I haven't saved in a while here. Fire systems, systems backup, I think I'll go to. All right. So now I got to fly back down to do all that crap. Again, this is another reason why you no know, clip is your friend, is it's just so much quicker. Um, as I make a mistake and then I have to go back and fix the mistake, I can easily no clip there and not have to run up the stairs 2,800 times. There we go. All right, so systems are on. And then if I want sonar, I go sonar on. This is not my sonar. It will be credited. Credit. Credit. Id. <laughs> I still can't say it. Credited. Um, yeah. So a little unrealistic. I could touch this monitor from here, but like I said, I have some haptic thing. All right. So sensitivity on the rudder. That's been bugging me for a while. Let's fix that. Um, can I do it with the seat? I think I just should do it with the seat. Yeah. Um, AD currently sensitivity is at 10%. Let's go down to 2%. I want this to feel like a big heavy ship that you can't just slam it around. And then, um, all right, so let's try double that. Do five, that's half of the original value. Actually, I I think I have enough electricity. No, I don't. I don't know. This shouldn't run with that not connected. Okay, whatever. So I'm gonna do a hard turn to starboard and see um, if I want that rudder down more. Nope, I don't think so. I think that's good. Still gives me reasonable... Um, let's go hard to port now. 
The ship's actually turning right, too. See how it's leaning into the turn initially, at least? Um, and then it's going to actually kind of go out. That's what it really happens is, in a little boat, when you turn into the turn, uh, the boat leans into the turn like a motorcycle. On a big ship, it actually leans out of the turn. So let's go hard right. Notice the ship will start leaning out. That's what we want. So it's going to lean in initially, but watch, it will actually start leaning out. And that's what you want. That's realistic. See how it's leaning out? That's, that's nice. All right, so now it feels like a big heavy ship before it felt um, too springy. So that's good. I'm getting some of the stuff done. Um, I don't know. I, I got rid of my drive. No, I didn't. Here it is. Um, let's see. How are we doing on time? Doing pretty good on time. So I'm just looking at, I'll show you what I'm looking at here. I'm looking at my to-do list here. So, um, all right, let's do this. Um, let, me, let me check really quick. I fixed stairs already. Um, fix on our screen size. That needs to be fixed still. Mass logic I'll do later. Station keeping winch, engineering panel, bathrooms, pumps. Okay, kitchenette, bathroom, engineering, ballast, fuel. All right, let's do um, let's go ahead and um, let's do barricades not coming up and try to do parasite craft refueling. Those are two things that I really need um, for the career build series. And um, yeah, let's do that. So the barricades here. Let's go ahead and bring it in. Um, so the barricades, once I connect my connector, once I connect to the connector, um, you know how it shuts the lights off, it should also bring the barricades up. So I need to see where the barricades are being controlled by. Okay, so they're being controlled by here, and then this reads this connector. I'm going to make this bigger. Um, Last time, I one thing that I didn't think about is when I landed Katie did in the rough weather, um, what I want to do is I want to put both either connector um, so that if either connector connects and then we'll do This way, if either connector gets connected, it will do that. Yeah, um, the other thing I was thinking of doing is making it... So if you remember with the davit, um, the rear connector cannot connect until the front connector connects. That way you're not accidentally grabbing the wrong one. Um, it only allows the front one to connect, and then once the front one's connected, it's um, it allows you to connect to the back one. And so I kind of want to do this with this one is until the left one's connected, the right one cannot be connected either. So we'll do that. So let's start here with an OR. Okay, there, there. Okay, so if either of those are connected, um, that will do it now. And then barricades. Let me kind of pull this so I can see what I'm looking at here. So if the distance is less than that, increase the barricades. And if this one or this one are connected, And now I want to do an and not, I think. Yeah, so see, this needs the same and not that um, that this one has. So if it's less than that and it's not connected, go ahead and increase the barricades like that. And then if uh, these are either of these are connected, decrease the barricades. That works. All right. All 
All right, so that will fix the barricades. And then what else did I want to do? Okay, so I want to disallow the other connections. So how to do, how to do. So this input here is going to be from, okay, so we will do, they have input for some reason. That needs to go output to um, starboard connector. Okay, so uh, if the port connector is not connected, disconnect the um, starboard connector. All right, kind of makes some of what I just did there redundant or unnecessary, but it um, still works nicely for me, I think. And I don't think I need power for those. So let's see, we have starboard connector. That's disconnect there. And then I want port connector coming in here. What is that? That is connected starboard. Okay. So that will work there. And then I don't think, uh, let me check, see if this is powered here. I don't think it is. Oh, it is powered. That's powered. So these will probably need to be powered for that to work the way I want it to. So I'll just power it here. Okay, that's fine. All right, so that's kind of hooked up now. That's good. Um, I think I want to get rid of these tie downs. I don't tie anything down now anymore. I use the quick connect because the tie downs just, it would be impossible in some of the sea states that I've been dealing with. So don't even want to bother with those. I'm using the wrong color here. I want white. And then I want to paint this stuff. Okay. All right, so that's good. All right, that's good. That's starting to look where I need. Let me paint really quick. Symmetry's on. Yep. Okay. All right, so this fixes up the helipad um, and gets this work in the way I want it to. Didn't mean to color these. That these are supposed to be black. Okay, right there. All right, so that's pretty pretty well set up there. Um, yeah, that should work well. That can be hidden. Let me just check underneath here. It's probably that's all painted white, so that could stay there. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and what is? Why am I keep switching colors here? It's all the different components is just blah. All right, so this can go down below. Um, probably where that um, where that uh, physics flutter is. All right, so this is uh, put away now. So it's nice to get a bunch of stuff done on this. A lot of housekeeping, but um, you know, this is how you get a build done: is little steps, and um, especially you know, it's in the career build series now, and so it it's um, functional, but it just needs a little bit of love to get it um, a little bit more finished up. All right, so that is um, that is looking good. Let's see if there's a, maybe something else we can do really quick. Um, I don't have really much time for missions, so kind of want to keep checking what I'm doing here. Uh, let's let's work. This should finish us up, and it's an important system: is parasite craft refueling. That is getting um, some sort of system to be able to refuel all the craft. So it's mostly plumbing. Um, so let me get working on that. So I'm trying to think how I want to do this. Uh, I kind of want to make it simple. I think. Um, Let's not do symmetry. Okay, so that's going to be like that for there. 
And then this uh, perfect that can be cut into the side here. That's electric, so that doesn't really need a refueling port. Um, do I even have a refueling port on this? I do, right up top. Um, so let's do... that maybe I don't need that much I can use this panel for the refueling so let's go ahead and do let's go like that all right so that's oh, come on symmetry just be on once in your life when I need you have a bad run with symmetry being off when I need it on. All right. So, all right. All right, I think we'll make that a uh, little bit of color there. All right, so that'll be for that refueling there. That'll be that refueling panel there. I can work on change the color if I don't like it. Um, that's there. I turned on symmetry after I didn't want that and on that side, so let's just get rid of this. All right, so that's good. That's there. Let's finish up with this. So I need to plumb all this in. Um, shouldn't be too bad. Uh, do I, I think I just, I'll just keep them white in color. Gotta do them ship color. All right, so that's done there. And then that comes in here. Um, this is where it becomes a pain, is because for some reason they made it so that you can't multicolor these things. Um, it's very frustrating. Um, kind of playing with that a bunch here. Let's go like this. Let's just, let's just back it up. All right, let's just delete that and then let's just go right here instead I should be yeah I see I can punch that through over here and then um, follow it along the wall there we go okay so um, I actually probably can go straight down right into the fuel tank um, so that's like that then this one I could paint this deck color and not have to worry about it all right um, let's actually make that that yellow if I don't like it I can always change it It'll probably grow on me and I'll probably like it. Got to do this for the uh, fuel color. As my fueling color here. Just add a little more detail to it. Um, all 
Okay. And where's my stacks? I think I'm going to do these separately and I'll do this one separately here. I think that's what I'll do. Yeah. Okay, that's what I'll do. So this doesn't need to travel very far. Uh, where is fuel? Where can I get fuel? Grab fuel. Probably right here, maybe. I don't know if this is the fuel tank. No, that's, um, okay, so I have to go forwards anyways for fuel. Fuel starts, fuel starts here. We're close. Um, okay, so I can, I'm, I'm close, so I'm just going to route it to there. Okay, so it's right there, so. This is fuel, right? And this has got to be fuel. Yep, diesel. Okay. And then I have an auto balancing system, so I don't have to worry about taking too much out of one tank. It's it's going to automatically balance itself. So automatically move fuel from one side to the other to f uh, balance it out if I have an imbalance. But likely that I get much of an imbalance from filling up um, Katie did or whatever's on the pad or the cormorant is very slim. Make sure that's facing the right way before I find out my system doesn't work. Okay, good. Paint the floor. And then add one more pump to the system here. And it didn't color it. Shocker. There we go. Okay. Right off the bat, I need to make a, a jig jag, but we'll be all right. Go all the way to the ceiling, please. Thank you. All right, so this is now going to be um, how we fill um, the fuel on the did or the cormorant or whatever is there. Let's do this one here. So let's punch a hole in the floor to start with. And where are we at? Where are we at? Peanut butter jelly with a baseball bat. I'm upside down, so that's really confusing. All right, let's go back up. Figure out where we are again. So we are in this front area. That's perfect. Um, yeah, punch a hole there. Ah, uh, that's the ballast. <laughs> that's the uh, counterweight. That, that's the wall. Is this fuel? Or is this ballast? Diesel. Okay, we're hit pay dirt here. And we're in the diesel compartment now. And this should have had symmetry on. Great sadness in all the land. Um, and I punched that hole right next to that. All right. That's always the problem with going back and forth from symmetry to not symmetry is you get and run into an issue like this. So whatever. Okay, so that's now matched up. All right. Um, paint that uh, right there. All right, good. All right, it didn't take too much to catch up. It was just annoying that I had to redo it, so.
All right, so there is going to be where the um, where this goes. So perfect. I'm kind of flipping around, which is probably not pleasant to watch. Try to fix, not do that as much. Kind of just trying to be quick here. I want to get, I like to check something off the list um, by the end of the video and not have to come back to do it. All right, so that's good. Um, all right, so this is going to be, what's that? One. Uh, launch star launch cover s dev it okay this is going to be um none this will be Um, uh, diesel pump. Where's dial, 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 dial? Oh, come on, man. Uh, button. Toggle two, three. We'll just make it three. And then this one will be um, a dial. Be, um, I don't. I don't need anything here. Okay, I'm not gonna put anything there. Okay, so that's that, and then I want to do, let's go ahead and that needs to go to there, this needs to go here, let's do all the electricity systems here. All right, and then this is on the non-essentials, so let's see where we have a space in the non-essentials. So that's what's that? One, two, three down, three breakers down. Um, parasite refueling. Let's go from here to here and that will be that connected to electricity. All right, now I need to just do logic. So I need, um, it's gonna go into the Davit control, which is right here. Nope, that's MOB stability. This is Davit control right here, which has been still sitting on the deck. So that's needs to move, so. Davit port. Panel output, and that will be um, diesel pump. This doesn't use diesel, but if I I'll probably at some point change it out to something that does, so it has that capability at least. Okay, so if uh, what is it? Three, three is on. That will trigger that. That's good. Okay, good. And this one. Starboard. And let's go ahead and let's add that here. All right. 
All right, so that's good. All right, so these can be hidden. Finally get these off the deck. These have been sitting there forever. And these can just go right in the stack. Kind of run out of space for them in the stack, but um, have space. Still have some space. All right, that's good. And then this one will go in the stack. She had to flip the right way the first time. All right, perfect. All right, so that's in. Now I just need to do the back one. All right, good. So I can, I think, add it to. What is this? Is this the? Um, don't want anything blank. Okay, this is helipad. Okay, we have plenty of logic to add on here, so let's just go. And then we need to add a panel in there, so. Uh, this one will be composite input panel. And this will be output diesel pump. Okay. And so. Panel should change this to one. All right, that should fix that one up. Logic, go to the diesel pump right here. So this should get us. What? What do I have connected there? Oh, this one. Okay, that's that would be why. And then um, composite from the panel. So the panel is powered already, so. All right, so that kind of finishes up a bunch of stuff that I wanted to get done on this, so that's good. Um, we're starting to get this ready. Well, not not ready, I, I'm trying to think of the best way to put this. We're starting to get this more complete. And so, um, you know, kind of my, my build philosophy is kind of get something up and make sure it's gonna run. Um, and so let me kind of show you that. So Triton system work, Triton systems back up. Let's do that. So to kind of show you this, um, this was the original home ship. And so I started with this quite a while ago and um, kind of see my iterative process on this. So like this was the original home ship, completely different ship. Um, still kind of cool. I like the design of it. It's actually faster than this one that I'm using now. It had three screws. Um, the boat launched, um, it had a large all-weather rescue boat, as you can see, holds 16 people in there. It launches, slides out of the back here. Um, you also be able to put a submarine in there. Um, huge helipad. Um, it could take much bigger craft in the back. Kind of pretty basic inside. Um, big area in here. Um, kind of a small bridge. Um, Kind of a little bit of a midsection area here. Um, you know, not too too much to it. Uh, one neat feature about this was it was going to have a door um, here, so you could load containers inside inside the bow. Um, and then it had its fuel tanks here, um, and then it had its engines. So, but you see how it had weird shapes, and it was just very kind of funky, funky, super duper funky. Um, the neat thing about it was it has kind of these little lockers for little rescue boats, but that was the original one. And so, you know, it's pretty basic and I started out basic and I realized the functionality wasn't there that I wanted. And so what I did was I started coming up with, um, you know, new Triton. So this is, this was the beginnings of Triton. And so I built, this was actually one of the helos that I, um, built, which I might finish this at some point. This is kind of a cool little pusher helo. It was kind of pre- 
pre-Katie did. Um, but this is how Triton started. Um, you know, this is the hull shape, the basic hull shape of Triton. Um, just very basic and blocky. And so I start like this, and then I start to make, can this work? And as I, as I determine, can this work, you know, I see I put weight blocks in there. This, that's how you test the buoyancy. I tested the dimensions, making sure that containers could fit and that um, the helipad could work. I checked sight lines. That's how I learned that the roof needed to go up higher than it was. This was set too far back, so this got slid forward. And to kind of see the iterative process of how that becomes... Um, you know, like I start doing ballasting um, on there, and you can see at this point I've, I've raised the roof a little bit. Starting to see, I think this slid forward and extended. You can see I actually did a, um, a test with a fake crane. That's how I made sure that it could easily move containers. And so as it starts to get more and more functional, I start to... Um, do more and more stuff with it. And so see, now it has the crane pretty close to what it has now. Um, did tests with that. Will that work? And initially what I was going to do is these, um, you would sacrifice some containers to put on bigger boats um, in the center. And so if you wanted rescue boats, you'd actually have to sacrifice the space. And so I kind of changed that idea and didn't like that. But um, you can kind of see the path that it's taken to get where it is. And so, um, you know, that's kind of what I do is I start with a very basic design and I see, is it going to work? And once I realize, okay, yep, it's going to work, um, that's when I start to, um, that's when I start to move forward and do things like design and uh, decorating. And so I got, I got the home ship at the time um, up and running and, you know, it could load containers without tipping over. It could carry parasite craft without tipping over. It had ample space uh, for all the things I needed. Okay, and so once it had that, then I could start adding more systems. And you kind of saw that, um, you know, when I started putting it in the career build series, I got it so that it was up and running. And once it was up and running, um, and it was running on its own, I said, okay, well now I can go back and I can add this and I can add this and I can add fire systems and I can add refueling systems. And so, um, you know, it really started with make sure it functionally works because if you find out it's functionally not going to work like that original home ship um you know like i was saying it had really weird angles and it started eating into my ability to do what i wanted to do um like here let's actually bring up the latest version of that like um this crane it wasn't going to work it looked goofy having a crane in the front um and then loading into the bow was a little weird uh, these boats were cool, and it's kind of cool having these davits on the side, but notice how much space we lose in this area. We lose pretty much all of this, and it just makes weird angles. And then the staircase was kind of funky. Um, this room wasn't too bad up here. And then you get down in here, and we have all this bow space. But then we have this weird fueling area here. So I went back and I redesigned all of my fuel and my ballast. And I built it properly from the ground up. And then this was super weird, man. You know, I have these engines here. And then I have this weird bump sticking down. And then I have the slope. And it was just like turned into really weird really quick, quickly. And so um, it's much better the way it is now. This ship's a lot faster because these are 5x5s. Five these are three, four, five by 5s And... Um, but, you know, this just wasn't as good of a ship as, as Triton's turning out to be. And so, like, you know, this is a cool ship. Um, maybe this will get some love at some point in the future. Um, but you can kind of see, you know, it's um, kind of walk around and it's, you can see the spaces and they're a little weird. Um, you know, I'm kind of working on a really big hallway. Um, that, see, this is one reason why Triton has the staircase under each other. It's a little annoying, but... Um, you know, it, it cuts down on space usage. And so this is a cool ship, you know, but it's just it just didn't have the features that I kind of needed. Um, and, like, you get into certain areas and it's just, like, the spaces are just really strange and they'd be really hard to make work. Like, this is all weird because that's where the boats uh, launch from, you know. And then, like, here is... Um, 
What's this engineering? Like down here is where you put containers and then you run through this weird hallway and then, you know, you have that sticking out and have to do something with that. And it's just, you know, it wasn't, uh, wasn't well designed. And so went back and started with a better design. And so once the design works, then you can say, okay, I'll spend some time decorating. Like, you know, this was kind of cool having these little areas here um, where you would jump in your boat and you'd go out. But, um, you know, I definitely think Triton's a better shape. Um, you know, this wouldn't be bad if I get rid of these knockouts and didn't bother with the front crane. But, um, yeah, so that's just kind of the build philosophy. And so it's um, it's coming along and Triton uh, is back in. And so we did some building these last couple of videos and I think we'll... Definitely take a break from some video, go back and do some gameplay. Triton is up and running really well. Triton can go do some firefighting now. I can refuel. Katie did, especially needs refueling all the time. Um, one thing I didn't add, which I'll put on my list, let me do that right now, was I didn't put refueling for the Remora, um, which uh, I need to do that. So let's put that on. So let's... um. Parasite Craft Refueling Remora. So we finished the rest. Remora is the last one. So that fourth slot. So um, that won't be a pain. That will be easy to add a little fueling port there as well. But um, I can just have a, a T-pipe come off the back there. And uh, that will be easy to do. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, a little bit of building and take a little bit, bit of a break from building so we can get back to some uh, rescues. Um, if you like the episode, please give it a like. If you... Um, have yet to subscribe and you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. Um, we have, um, uh, you know, the 1st of October is um, I, the end of September. Let's put it that way. It's the last day to vote on the Stormy Awards. So please go over to Endoskull Gaming's um, Discord and vote for your favorite builds. Um, you know, show some love there for everybody's uh, hard work and hopefully... Uh, you know, we can get some uh, great winners on the Stormy Awards. So I'll see you later. Bye.